And good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Ultimate Dirt TV back on Sunday night with the World of Thunder Esports League. It is now time for your Season 25 Super Late Model Season opener here tonight from Lanier National Speedway in Brasselton as we get ready for this 3 eighth of our racetrack for round number one. Good evening, race fans. Brett Wheeler with you for the call as we get set. We are going qualifying. Let's take a look at one of the first drivers to come out onto the racetrack right now. And there we go. Now we should be able to have a look. So Matt Selby is going to be one of the first cars on the raceway. Driving the Medulla C Speed Shop CFM Esports. Number 46 car of Matt Selby. Selby waiting for the first time and waiting for all times to come through. In fact, they'll come through on the left-hand side of your screen. Matt Selby. Eric Hudson goes 14-171. Matt Selby with a 13-8-2-1. A 13.821 for Matt Selby. What can you do on lap number two in the 46 car? A little slow with a 13-9-7. A 13977 Jackson Reitzler in the 22 car on screen, you see. Reitzler was going to go six quick with a 13871. A 13871. Robert Overstreet, your winner from the Pro Plate Model Fix Setup Series. A little over an hour ago, gets the 46 car. Working a treat through turns one and two, and he will go, waiting for those first times to come through. Zach Jenkins, meanwhile, with his 13683. Jordan Casey, Nathan Waddell, your top three. Chase Barber and Jared Jones, your top five. Cody Nevin jumps to position number five right now with a 13.732. Driving the NLRA, Acme Tools, Ultimate Dirt TV, Speed Ranch. 11 car slower, lap number two there is... Hayden Tolleson, these drivers have got one minute. Tolleson. Driving that Majula C Speed Shop number 327. Okay, he'll stop it on the raceway. Jordan Lafon coming out on track right now. The House of Speed 144 car. So also Lafon was moving through the field in the pro late models before being uh, involved in an incident in turn number one. So again, a field of 52 drivers signed up for the opening round of the series. Jordan Lafon. He will stop that one there. Cam Harris in the 32 car, the advanced logistics. GFP Rickham Brothers car. And that's going to be done and dusted for the night. That will be. So qualifying done. Heat race number one. The first of what is going to be six heat races on the program. I believe we are looking at a full six car. Six heats. Yes, we are indeed. So six heat races on the program. Heat race number one. Zach Jenkins in the 62 lines up on pole position. Jared Jones in car number 45 lines up at a position number two. From position number three with the 46 car of Matt Selby out of four. Alexander Smith in car number nine. Position number five. Hunter Conn in car number 48 to the outside. The 56 car of Matthew Logan lines up at a position number six. Justin Sick in the 15 car will line up at a position number seven. The 18C of David Costelli lines up at a position number eight. And tonight, the final starter driving car number 71. That's Josiah Johnson to make up this nine car field in heat race number one. Lights should go out on the racing.com safety car right away, which means we are going to be one to green right off the bat. And the starts, the restarts will be on the leader off turn number four. Ten laps of distance, top three to the main event. So we'll lock in 18 from the heat races. And then three V-Mains where we'll take the top two. 
to lock in a 24 car field for tonight's 60 lap a main event as again the cars are rolling away right now behind the racing.com safety car they'll come to the one they'll get the one degree signal right away zach jenkins and jared jones your front row Heat race number one, ladies and gentlemen, here at Linear National Speedway, live on Ultimate Dirt TV, live on the World of Thunder Esports League. Esports League, it is the World of Thunder Esports League Super Late Model Season 25, uh, round number one. Green, green. Here at the Lear, we are green. And Zach Jenkins going to get a good start. Here comes Selby trying to move up the racetrack, take over position number two, but Jerry Jones back down to the inside. So your top three are going to find their way away from the rest of the field. Jones and Selby side by side. Give it to Jared Jones by probably half for Carling. Jones in the purple, black and white, 45. Selby in the similar paint skin, but got red on the outside of the number 46 car. And again, they will go at it side by side for second and third position, battling for a better starting spot in tonight's A main event. Jones again, once again, down to the inside. He goes, Selby rocketing around the outside. Here comes Hunter Cone in the 48 car. Trying to throw his hat into the mix. Alexander Smith back there to position number five. Josiah Johnson moving from ninth to position six. Justin six, seven. Matthew Logan, David Costelli round out the field. Selby to the inside on Jared Jones off for turn number four. But Jones has got it. Slider from Selby. Crossover, then crossover by Jared Jones. Cross flag sticks around right here in heat ranks number one. Five down and five to run. World of Thunder Esports League season 25 season opener here at Lenny National Speedway. Hunter Cone coming thick and fast after Selby and Jones. Hunter Cone in the 48. What has he got for Selby? Four laps left to run. Selby and Jones have got top and bottom covered right now. And Raw and almost side by side once again. So they're going to make it very difficult right now for Hunter Cone to challenge him and make a pass for that transfer spot. If we can't get by, Selby or Jones move up into the top three. Hunter Cone will start on pole of one of your three B mains. Selby with a crisscross move from the top to the bottom. Now goes from the bottom to the top. And Jared Jones, Matthew Selby's got second of the line. Tip of the green, twin sticks in the air. Two laps left to run. Jones back to the inside on Matt Selby down into turn number three. White flag flying for the 62 car. Zach Jenkins, who was absolutely a nightlight of the competition here tonight in heat race number one. But work it down the back straight away for the final time. Down into three and four. Selby going to try and protect as much as he can, but it's going to be Zach Jenkins getting the win. Second is going to go to Matt Selby. Third will be Jared Jones at the line. And heat race number one is done. I wait for Zach Jenkins to make his way into the booth and then we'll chat to Zach Jenkins here in a few moments time. In fact, he's out of the race car. Zach Jenkins, Matt Selby, Jared Jones, your top three. Then you go back to Hunter Cohn, Josiah Johnson, Alexander Smith, followed by Justin Sick, Matt Logan and David Costelli. He ranks number one winner goes to Zach Jenkins. Zach, congratulations first off on qualifying, but also picking up a dominating win here in heat race number one. That car looks like it's dialed up and ready to go for your 60 lap main event later on tonight. Yeah, man, I threw on a random Fairberry set and didn't make any adjustments and I hit it just perfect. I was able to be consistent every lap. Uh, I'm really not expecting to win, but we'll just try and get it done tonight. Well, you've got 60 laps to try and hold on. What do you do? Because we've got now another five heat races, a three B mains and a warm-up session. What do you do between now and probably at least a good 30 to 40 minutes time? Really, I don't know. I mean, I'm going to have to text Dylan about something. So, Well, Zach, congratulations on the victory. Good luck in tonight's main event. We'll wish you the best of luck and uh, we'll let you get ready for what it will be an awesome night later on tonight. All right, thanks. There we go, Zach Jenkins, heat race number one winner. We'll go heat race number two right now. Jordan Casey on pole in cut of a 42 to the outside of the front row. Talon Willis in cut of a 10 lines up at a position number two. Position number three will be the 18 of Matthew Catania out of position number four, the 22 of Jackson Reitzler. Third row inside the 19 machine from position number five. That's Ryan Hodge into the outside. Justin Powell in cut of a 30 lines up at a position number six. Position number seven with a 98 car of Wade Burrows out of position number eight, driving caliber 77, that is Eric Hudson. 
And the 32 car of Cam Harris lines up out of position number nine as we get set for heat race number two of six. Jordan Casey and Talon Willis on the front row. Jordan Casey will lead us to the green flag. So again, they get the one to green signal right now. Oh, I just need to do one thing before we go racing. Take that away. There we go. You're not going to miss the thing, I promise you, ladies and gentlemen. Green flag is out. Heat race number two. Cannot live up to what heat race number one provided with this battle for second and third. Let's wait and find out. So they work it down the back straight away. Willis closing in right now on Jordan Casey for the race lead. But lap number one is going to belong to Jordan Casey. He's going to probably just, uh, just under a car length. And again, your top three, they start to drive away from the rest of the field. Heat race number two, Casey, Willis, and Catania. Casey, a little, little bit of a bobble there in three and four. Now here comes Talon Willis. Slide jump for the race lead. Slide is clear. Casey back to the inside. I'll give you $20 on Bob Burnout. Casey back to the top of the racetrack. Here comes Willis back down low, down into turn number one. Slider once again. Casey with the crisscross back down the back straight away. And again, Casey goes from the bottom to the top all the way. Matthew Catania watching this battle for the race lead unfold right in front of his very eyes. This time, Casey Willis and Catania all on the top through one and two. Nose to tail. Reitzlin, Reitzlin fourth. Justin Powell fifth. Cam Harris moving his way to position number seven. Wade Burris goes back to position number eight. Nery Cunts and rounds out the field. Catania died, dove low on Willis down into one and two. It's a matter of when is that bottom side going to come back in. No doubt track reset is going to be in order, in order here for the main event after the B mains and probably going to be the right call. But as the right call happens, there's Jordan Casey in the 42 car leading from the pole position. And so far, he has only got three laps left to run. So seven near perfect laps. But I've got to say, not without the challenges from Tal uh, Talon Willis. Heat race number two, looking to go green to check up here at Lenny National Speedway. There's two to run for Jordan Casey. Talon Willis in second position. Matthew Catania in third. Meanwhile, Justin Powell and Jackson Wright are going to battle out for position number four and five as the white flag flies. Heat race number two about to be complete as Jordan Casey's already down the back straight away into turn of a three and four for the final time. Drives it deep, protects that inside line to make sure there's no huge slide that's coming. And it is done and dusted. Heat two, done and dusted for the night. We've still got another four heats to come. Let's take a look at your official results. Jordan Casey gets the win over Talon Willis in second. Matthew Catania third. Justin Powell, Jackson Wright in your top five. Kem Harris. Eric Hudson and Wade Burris to make up your top nine drives. We chat to the 42 car of Jordan Casey. And Jordan, congratulations on the victory. That car looked pretty good there. Thanks, brother. Uh, yeah, felt good. And I don't know what we got for this feature. I haven't really practiced much for an A-main setup, but it depends on if it resets and whatnot and see what we got for him. Well, we wish you the best of luck in the 60 lap main event. We know it's a long way in uh, trying to put that 42 car in victory lane. So, Jordan, we'll let you get ready for that main event to come in probably about 30 minutes' time. Uh, thanks, man. There you go, Jordan Casey, winner of heat race number two. Heat number three, getting ready to take to the racetrack right now. Driving the Plum Wild Podcast, Majula C Speed Shop. Number five car of Nathan Waddell starts on pole to the outside of the front row. Driving the EPI, Elite Performance Industries, number 21X. It is Matt Yorker from position number two. Then we go back to row, oh, there we go, row number two. It's going to be the 11 car of Ethan Johnson from three to 75 of Ryan Goffmanis. He'll start from position number four. Ryan, I apologize about that one. Your name actually caught me off guard there. Joe Garcia, the 114, starts position number five. Robert Overstreet in the 46, starts position number six. Lake and Martin line up the 38 out of position number 7 from position number 8 with a 55 car of Jonathan Lee. And Chase do now in the 32 C car lines up on the back row by himself. So Nathan Waddell will bring the field to the drop of the green flag. 
Heat three of six. So after this one, we're officially halfway home. Nate the Medell, the Plum Wild Podcast, number five car, leads us down the front straight away. And immediately he's going to see a battle between Matt Yorker in that 21X car and Ethan Johnson in the 11. There we go, just finally waiting for timing and scoring to come up as... Lake and Martin try to the inside there on Joe Garcia, but lap number two will belong to the five car of Nathan Waddell. Nearly three wide down the front straight away. Jonathan Lee in the 55 to the very right of your screen. You're watching Lake and Martin, Joe Garcia battle it out for what is position number five and six. Lake and Martin moves on by. He gets the best of Joe Garcia. Matt York are now going to lose the transfer position. Now he'll look to go down to the inside on Goffmanis. Yorker down low, as is Lake and Martin. Garcia and Goffmanis to the outside of turn number three and four. They run Robert Overstreet and ascend it upstairs as well. Jonathan Lee into the concrete wall in the middle of turn three and four. We almost go three wide again to battle for the transfer spot. Then Matt Yorker has got it down the back straight away. Lake and Martin three wide through the middle of turn number three and four. Who's going to get the best of this one at the line? I think Lake and Martin had it. He slides up in front of Matt Yorker. Yorker now comes back down to the inside, down into turn number three and four. We go, can't see into the back of the 75 go Goffmanis. Yorker and Munn, wheel to wheel, fender to fender down the back, straight away, into three and four we go, second last time, two laps left to run, Munn, Yorker, here comes Overstreet, down low into turn number one and two, Robert Overstreet from there, I think what was position number six it was, and now he's going to battle for the transfer position, white flag is out, Robert Overstreet has got it, but Nathan Waddell, Leads the way down into turn number three and four for the final time. Look at this third, fourth, fifth, and sixth right now. Nathan Waddell wins from Ethan Johnson. Oh boy, that's probably I've got no idea who is gonna get that one. Oh my. Take a look at heat race number three results up on your screen. It's going to be Nathan Waddell, Ethan Johnson, your top two. Ryan Goffman is in, top, in third position. Robert Overstreet, Matt Yorker, Lake and Martin, Jonathan Lee, Joe Garcia and Chase Dunow. We chat to the Plum Wild Podcast, number five driver of Nathan Waddell. Nate, congratulations, buddy, on heat race number three. Victor, you, uh, what you took to the green flag, mate. It was uh, smooth sailing out in front. Oh, yeah, we just uh, went up to the top and let her eat, and this Majula C Speed Shop number five car was just absolutely rolling up there. Um, can't thank those guys enough. The guys at VLR, Just Junk Motorsports, Knowles Race Parts and Bodies, Apex Designs, Mario Perez Photography. I mean, we just we had a really good piece there. Thankfully, we found a pretty good line in qualifying, and it kind of stayed the same in the heat race. So hopefully we'll be able to do something from third here in the 60-lap feature. Well, depending on whether we get a track reset or not, uh do you think that the top's going to come back in, or do you think Linnaeus is going to be all back back to bottom side, no matter which way it goes? Uh, it'll it'll end up back on the bottom uh, at the end of the race, I, I think. But you know, if we reset, at least I think uh, we'll probably have a little bit racier of a surface early. But I think ultimately it'll end up back on the bottom. But you know, who knows? I mean, if it goes back up to the top, clearly I'm I'm pretty comfortable up there. But uh, I feel pretty good on the bottom too. We'll just have to see how it plays out and. Hopefully we can, you know, do something from this uh, third start position and maybe get a win here. Right, well, mate, congratulations on the win of heat race number three. Good luck in that 60 lap mode event later on. Appreciate it, Brett. There we go, Nathan Medell, the driver of the Plum Mob Podcast number five car. We'll take a look at heat race number four starting lineup on the pole position with the 23 car of Chase Barber to the outside of the front row, the 327 entry of Hayden Tolleson from position number two. From three with the 14 car of Trey Mills. From four, the 101 car of Brent Evans. From five with the 20 car of Colton Zimmer. From six, the 44 entry of Luke Bishop. From position number seven in car 42, that's Steve Smiley on his outside. The 11 car of Blake Bailey lines up at a position number eight. 
And United, the final starting in caliber 21. That is Justin Brown. So, in fact, take out Justin Brown. He did not make the start of tonight's heat race number four. Which means Chase Barbara, Hayden Dolce. I'm going to say, this is a very, very stacked heat race. These drivers have got a lot of work to do. Remember, top three will go through to that A main event here at Linear National Speed. But round number one of World Thunder Esports League Super Late Models season number 25. Green flag is out to Chase Barbara. Right to the top he goes. Look at Trey Mills working down to the inside, but it's going to be that Alpha Industries number 23 car. Here goes Mills to the inside on Tol on Trey on Tatum Tolleson. Trey Mills going to lose a position now to Colton Zimmer. Zimmer down low. Tolleson trying to work it also down low and right through the middle it goes the 23 car of Chase Barbara. Mills and Evans go upstairs into three and four as does Tolleson. Now Zimmer to the inside on Hayden Tolson down into turn number one and two. Luke Bishop right there. Bishop's going to move into fourth position just to the very right of your screen. But Mills comes back after him. You're watching your top three on screen. Chase Barbara leading the way from Hayden Tolson. Colton Zimmer. I think Colton Zimmer had it at the line. At the start finish line, it was only by six one thousandth of a second. And yeah, you can give it to Hayden Tolson. Tolleson again is going to buy a quarter of a race car. That time by you are looking at half a tenth of a second. 49 one thousandth is all that separates Colton Zimmer and Hayden Tolleson. Zimmer on the inside. Tolleson is somewhat stuck right through the middle of the raceway. Now gives second back to the 20 car of Colton Zimmer. And he had it by nine one thousandth of a second. Zimmer, Tolleson, Zimmer now. Nearly missing the line on the entry down into turn number three. Tolson tries to stick a nose up on the inside to move him up the racetrack. Zimmer, Tolson, nose to tail. Look at Luke Bishop there just to the very right of your screen. Comes in the picture right now in the 44 car. And Bishop has had to fight from the outside of the third row to move to position number four. So he's plus two. Trey Mills the biggest. Biggest uh, back, he's got the reverse papers on the biggest loser out of this one, going from third back to the pit. So Trey Mills will start buried deep in one of your three B mains. Lapping a bit to go for Chase Barbara. Three and four for the penultimate time. Heat race number four of six. And Chase Barbara still leads the way from Colton Zimmer, Hayden Tolson, and just like that, one final time around the National Speedway. Three and four we go. Tolleson to the inside of Zimmer trying to drive it deep into turns three and four. Who's it going to be at the line? Well, we know Chase Barber is going to win. I can tell you right now, six one thousandths of a second between Colton Zimmer and Hayden Tolleson. Heat four results coming up on screen. Chase Barber, Colton Zimmer gets it by seven one thousandths of a second. In fact, over Hayden Tolleson in third, Bishop Evans. Bailey, Smiley, and Mills, your eight cars with Justin Brown not taken to the raceway. Heat four winner of Chase Barbara. Chase, congratulations on the victory once again. We see this 23 car out in front. Do you feeling comfortable? Yeah, I feel pretty good. Uh, I wasn't very, I tried to hit the top, the first corner like everybody else was, and wasn't very good. And uh, I think the bottom's been in for a good little while, but nobody went to run it, and I just went down there and it felt like I was rolling. So, uh, I mean, pretty happy. I love running around the bottom here anyway. So, Hopefully it stays down there all night. Well, if we do happen to get a track reset, do you think that it's still going to go back down to the bottom sort of? How do you think the track's going to play it if we if we get a reset? I think it'll be, um, you know, like kind of a slider line. You know, it'll definitely be a be able to drive it hard if they reset, but I think it'll just go back to the bottom in the end. But if they reset it, probably will move around a little bit more earlier, but if they leave it out as right now, it's just going to be a train race, so hopefully they reset it. Well, Chase, congratulations on heat race number four victory. Wish to the best of Ike in that 60 lap main event later on tonight. Thanks. There we go, Chase Barber in the Alpha Industries number 23 car. Heat number five coming up on your screen. Cody Devon for NLRA and the Ultimate Dirt TV Acme Tools entry will start on pole to the outside of the front row, the 24 car of Colton Herbert. Row two will be Adam Holbert in car number 20 from position number three in the 524 car. Brent Carey lines up at a position number four. Position number five will be the 32 car of Nori Tibbet. From six, it's the 01 of Michael Blessing. 
from position number seven, the 21 car. It is Eddie Farnas into the outside of him in car number 22. Eli Beck lines up at a position number eight. And that is your eight cars in heat race number five. So your second last heat race of the night before we move into what will be your three consolation races, all B mains. And they'll be 12 laps in distance, top two. We'll go through to the main event. Let's get a start here, Cody Nevin. To bring us to the green flag off turn number four. Oh, Nori Tippett trying to go a little early there on Adam Holbert, but we are racing in heat race number five. Holbert to the inside on Herbert now. Holbert in car 20, Herbert in the 24 car. Then you go back to Brent Carey, Nori Tippett. They also side by side for positions number four and five. Oh, Tippett. Brent Carey going to go around. Will that bring on the first caution? Like, no, we stay green. There we go. There is the first yellow. Oh. So, the 32 car should go to the end of the line. He was the one that Made the initial contact with both the 20 car of Adam Holt, but also the 524 car of Brent Carey. So Nori Tippett sent to the end of the line. See right there. 32 car just pulling down the a raceway. All right, Cody Nevin. Hopefully going to bring us back to green flag. Safety car is up. We're coming back racing off for turn number four. First caution of season number 24. Five here for the World of Thunder Esports League Super Late Models and Nevin again just rolls the low side through one and two. We've seen what Chase Barbara's and we heard what Chase Barbara said. It's probably been there for quite some time, but no really game enough to go down there in the first three heat races. And of course, heat one setting the tone there with Zach Jenkins. But right now, we're in heat race number five. So the first three went to the top. And it's probably these next, well, this one, last one and this one for the heat races. A wall on the low side. You can dare say that probably you probably should expect the same thing for the remainder right up until we get a track reset. Herbert dies down to the inside, down into three and four. We go, Cole, Cody Nevin, Colton Herbert. Nevin again back with a run on the outside of the 24 car of Herbert. Who's this going to be? Down into three and four. We go, Herbert little slider there he comes Nevin back to the inside Nevin now looking to go back to the race lead does so boy I tell you what they're not even using half the racetrack and they are just throwing a, a few little sliders on one another so good racing here in heat race number five with just three laps left to run your top two on screen Adam Holbert probably got the best seat in the house to look at this battle and watch these two guys duking out for the number one and two positions Positions 5 and 11 for the starting positions are up for grabs right now. Herbert and Nevin still side by side down the back straight away. Coming to the white flag. Oh boy, look at Cody Nevin. Some problems there in the 11 car. Herbert goes up. Now Nevin back to the inside. The white flag is out. Little slider there from Nevin. Nevin's got it down the back straight away for the final time. Into turn number 3 and 4. He's going to protect that inside line. Oh boy, problems there for the 11 car. And who's it gonna be? Well. Let's see if we can get a replay of that one. Trying to get a replay of this.
So again, this is the replay finish. All right, well, we are going to bring that up on screen because just bear with us for a moment. I th Interesting, interesting. All right, well. So, unofficially, let's bring up the results. Unofficially, Heat 5 will look like this. Colton Herbert, Adam Holbert, Michael Blessing, your top three. Cody Devon, Eddie Farnes, Nori Tippett, Eli Beck, and Brent Carey. That is the way they are scheduled to finish. Now, again... Those results are unofficial. Let me check with race control what we're going to do here. All right, we're back. All right, so here we go. I'm going to go through the starting grid, and then I'm going to tell you what is going to happen. So let's go through heat race number six, starting grid. Peyton Burton lines up on pole from two. We Robbie Buchanan Jr. from position number two. From three will be the 44 car of Cade Nelson. From four, the 29 of Richie Yost. From five, the 109 of James Braswell Jr. From six, the 26 of Kevin Brow. From 7, the 21 car of Neville Ulf. And from 8, it's the 144 car of Jordan Lafon. Right, here's the situation. I'll tell you if we get a yellow. I'll tell you if we get a yellow. Because I want to keep you guys in suspense right now. Heat 6. Getting ready to roll. And we are green with paint and burn. Leading us down the front straight away. Here goes Nelson to the inside of Robbie Buchanan Jr. Down the back straight away. Cade Nelson moves up to the runner-up position. James Braswell Jr. now moves to the inside of Richie Jones for positions four and five. But Latina one will belong to the 14 car of Peyton Burton. Nelson trying to force his way on the inside. Now you've got a three-car battle for the final transfer spot. We're three wide. 
down into turn number one, in turn number three and four, I should say. Yost up to position number three, Robbie Buchanan Jr. Probably got some race rust about him. Not sure how much I've seen lately of, of uh, the 31 car of Robbie Buchanan Jr. If you go back probably about eight, nine months ago, he was really a force to be reckoned with. It's still Peyton Burton leading the way from Cade Nelson, Richie Yost, one, two, and three, Robbie Buchanan Jr., James Braswell Jr. to make up your top five. Everyone migrated to the bottom side. Jordan Lafon by Neville off the battle there for what is positions number seven and eight as here comes Kevin Brow on the inside of James Braswell. Braswell made a mistake in the back straight away. And just like that, we are five down, five to run. In your sixth and final heat race of the evening. Peyton Burton in car number 14 from the pole position has led every lap of this sixth and final heat race so far. Cade Nelson, who started in position number three. Richie Yo started from fourth, and he's up to a top three. And again, remember, top three will go through to the A main event. Kevin Brown in the 26, trying to get by James Braswell Jr., Robbie Buchanan Jr., trying to go through the middle, trying to go right through where the marbles are. And I've got to say, he might have just hit on something there in three and four. Buchanan into the back of Yost, two laps to run. Can Buchanan fight by the 29 car in three and four? That's probably his only opportunity right now. A white flag is out. One lap left to go. Buchanan goes upstairs. Back straight away for the final time. Final heat race of the evening as we get set to go with our B mains here in a moment. But Peyton Burton will win the heat race number six. Peyton Burton will win the sixth and final heat race of the night. Let's take a look at those results as we wait for Peyton to get in. Peyton Burton wins from Cade Nelson, Richie Yost, your top three, Robbie Buchanan Jr., James Braswell Jr., fourth and fifth, Kevin Brown, Jordan Lafon, and Neville Olf. As Peyton Burton in car number 14. Peyton, congratulations on heat race number six. Victory, going to say you look pretty comfortable out there. I mean, how are you feeling in the cockpit? Well, pretty good. Didn't get the start and initially wanted, but once I settled in, I got to the bottom and just held my line. Uh, congrats to... Uh, Cade there, it was fun racing them. I'm glad you didn't race me dirty. It's always fun racing in terms of officials and stuff. So I'll take it. Good starting position in the feature and just gonna try to save and just be patient. Well, you just uh, you just answered my next question uh, before we even got into that one. But hey, Peyton, congratulations on the victory. Good luck in that main event. Thank you, man. All right, so just to clarify what is gonna happen here for the uh, Colton Herbert and uh, Cody Nevin incident. In fact, let's get our D main grid lineup first. So Hunter Cohn on the pole position, Luke Bishop out of position number two, Josiah Johnson from three, Brent Evans from four, Alexander Smith from five, Blake Bailey from six, Justin Sick from seven, from eight, it's Steve Smiley. Matthew Logan from 9, Trey Mills from 10, and David Castelli from position number 11. All right, so let's go back to heat 5 incident with the finish. So what is going to happen? So there is going to be two scenarios. It's real simple. Cody Nevin's going to start uh, near the front of the B main. If he makes it into the show, Colton Herbert will receive an EOL. If Cody Nevin, however, does not make the feature event, he will, Colton Herbert will not start in tonight's A main event. So that's the scenario with that Heat 5 finish. It's real simple. All, all admins are in agreement with it. And if you don't like it, well, that's not my problem. All right, first of the three B mains on the program. We get set to go racing off turn number four. Your first B main is underway. Hunter Cone, gee, look at the 71 of Josiah Johnson. Nearly got into the back of Luke Bishop in that number 44 car. Evans and Johnson side by side for third and fourth position. We are yellow. And it looks like Trey Mills gets into the back of David Castelli. 
So that will bring on the caution. So Trey Mills will be sent to the end of the line on that one. And well, he's still got a long way to go, but that's what is going to be the cause of the caution. So that will complete lap number two. So 10 laps left to run. So basically a heat race distance away. Alright, let's go racing once again off turn number four. Hunter Cone. Oh, not going green just yet. So a storyline already in round number one, season opener for the World of Thunder Esports League, a super late model series here at Lenny National Speedway. Thank everyone watching live on the Ultimate Dirt TV and the World of Thunder social media channels. No matter where you're watching from, let us know who you're cheering for as we go back to racing. Hunter Cone in the 48 car again will lead us down into turn number one and two. Upstairs goes to, uh, Josiah Johnson in that 71 car. Now going to come after the 44 car of Luke Bishop. And Bishop is good right through the middle of the raceway. So another lap in the books as Luke Bishop is going to lead what is lap number four. So one third of the race is complete. Here comes Johnson and Brent Evans coming after the 48 car of Hunter Cone. Gee, Josiah Johnson ripping the lip around Lanier. And he is making it work. And the 71 car of Johnson moves into the final transfer position cross flag sticks around six down and six to run trey mills struggling right now still back there in eighth position battling with the 42 car of steve smiley johnson gets away from brent evans down the back straight away Eight down, four to run for Luke Bishop in car number 44. There's Blake Bailey and Matthew Logan as Logan, the D1RT. ML Performance, number 56 car, moves to position number five. But here comes the 11 of Blake Bailey back to the inside. Alexander Smith watching this battle unfold as well. Three to go for your race leader of Luke Bishop. Again, the 101 car of oh, Brent Evans, the first car to miss out. Play a Hunter Cone in the 48 car, trying that deep slider line. Problems for Trey Mills in the back of the field. Got some mechanical issues in that 44, in that uh, 14 car, I should say. Gets them sorted out. Uh, coming to the white flag. One lap left to go for Luke Bishop in car 44. Bishop down the back straight away for the final time. The first of three B mains done and dusted. Josiah Johnson nearly overdrove it. And then just the Check it five years out for Bishop. The first of three B mains. So let's take a look at your B main number one results up on screen. There it is. Luke Bishop and Josiah Johnson. Are the top two and the top two that will go through into tonight's A main event. Everybody else third on back, unfortunately, is going to find themselves on the way to next week for round number two. B main number two looks like this. Justin Powell on pole. Cody Nevin from two. 
Jackson Reitzler from three. Eddie Farnas in the four, in the 21 from four. From five, it's the 32 of Kim Harris. From six, it's Nori Tippett. From position number seven, it's Eric Hudson. From eight, it's Eli Beck. Wade Burris out of nine and Brent Carey out of position number 10. And Ryan Hodge schedules the line up out of position at number 11. Well, again, the storyline of the night so far, if Cody Nevin does not make the feature event, Colton Herbert will not start in tonight's A main event. However, if Cody Nevin does make the main event, Colton Herbert will be sent to the end of the line. Justin Powell, Cody Nevin coming to the green flag and we are underway. Nevin dives straight down to the inside on Justin Powell into one and two, three, one to the very right of your screen. But Justin Powell is going to lead. Here comes Nevin again. Fine down to the low side. Remember, top two will go through to the A main and Justin Powell will lead a lap number one. Still 11 laps around Lanier National Speedway. And then we go back to Eddie Farnas in third position in the number 21 car. Nevin decides to go upstairs in three and four. Jackson Wright's in the 22 in fourth position. Nori Tibbet in the 32. Back there in position number five. As Nevin slowly but surely coming after the 30 car. If Justin Powell, your race leader, being scored as the RAC number one putt. His car number 30. Jackson Wright's are going to go around, I think, courtesy of Cor uh, Nori Tippett. Again, Nori Tibbet will be sent to the end of the line, gets into the back of Jackson Reitzler in car 22. Reitzler goes around, so Tibbet will once again for the second time tonight. He went, uh, got sent to the end of the line in his earlier heat race. for the lights to go out on the iRacing.com safety go. In fact, they are out, so we're getting ready for a restart in B main at number two. Problems there for Eddie Farnas in the 21 car, but seems to have got them sorted out right now. Back of racing here at Liddy National Speedway. Farnas dives low again. Problems for Cody Devon in that 11 car. Nearly three wide for the race lead. Justin Powell through the middle. But here comes Nevin with a run on the outside again. Nevin in that 11 car. Again, those mechanical issues, they sort of hurt him there. Towards the back end of heat race number five. Cam Harris now going to go upstairs into three and four. Farnas as well got issues in the 21 car. It seems to be holding solid right now in third position. But it's not going to matter because it's only the top two. That will transfer into tonight's main event. Cam Harris going to follow your race leader of Cody Nevin right up around the concrete wall. Justin Powell, your pulse is still holding on to position number two. Harris, Farnas, Reitzler. There's Nori Tippett as well. Farnas to the inside and Reitzler. Farnas had to back out of it. And now here comes Cam Harris to the outside. Three wide for a split second off turn number two. The rights are all over the back of Cam Harris for third and fourth position. Nori Tippett back up to position number five. There'll be two to run right now for Cody Nevin. He is your race leader in B main number two. Don't forget we've still got one more B main to come up after this one. And Nevin looks solid right now, out in front for NLRA. And the Acme Tools Ultimate Dirt TV car. White flag is out, one lap left to run for the 11 car of Cody Nevin into three and four. We go final time. Checkers are out. Cody Nevin wins your second B main. Starting tonight's main event, from, but from the tail end of the field.
So B main number two results on screen. Cody Nevin gets the win. Justin Powell in second. Unfortunately for Nori Tibbet, Harris, Farnas, Wrights, Lebeck, Boris Hudson, and Kerry in the rest of the field. Third on back will not feature in tonight's A main event. B main number three final preliminary action here from Lanier National Speedway. Robert Overstreet starts on pole from position number two, Robbie Buchanan Jr. From position number three, Matt Yorker. From four, it's James Braswell Jr. Lakin Martin rolls off out of position number five. From six, it's the 26 of Kevin Brow. From seven, it's Jonathan Lee. From eight, it's Jordan Lafon. Joe Garcia from nine. And Neville O from position number 10. And your final row, Chase do now from 11th. And Justin Brown, if he makes it onto the raceway, will start from position number 12. Looks like we are ready for a start in B main number three. Green flag is out in your pro weight model winner, feature event winner of Robert Overstreet. Is going to lead the field through turn number one and two. Braswell to the outside. He's found his way to position number three. He comes after Robbie Buchanan for the runner up position. But right now, Buchanan holds on. Buchanan and Braswell, no doubt they'll have their cars dialed in, ready to go. And they will come after the 46 car of Robert Overstreet. Overstreet, your fixed pro late model season open, a main event winner. Again, probably what was, when did we start this? Yeah, probably two hours ago. So don't forget, we've still got 60 laps of A main racing after the warm up session. So we do have a track reset, but here is the battle for second and third position. And again, this will be one of these two drivers. If they continue to battle it out for second and third, one of them will go home. And one of them will go into the A main event to start from position number 20. Braswell runs a slider line and this time bypass the start finish line. We are I'm still watching second and third, almost fourth on screen sometimes with Matt Yorker driving the 21X machine. But Braswell is a man on a mission right now. Eight tenth of a second. And with that eight tenth of a second, difference between Robert Overstreet and James Braswell Jr. Last lap time by Overstreet was a full tenth quicker. Let's see what it is this time by. Well, it's another tenth, so it's opened up to now a 1.3. And Buchanan with a big slider line into three and four. We go. Tell you what, James Braswell Jr., don't lock him in just yet because Robbie Buchanan Jr. He is coming in the 31 car. G nearly tagged the rear bumper of the 109 car. Two to run up the line for Robert Overstreet. Can James Braswell hold on? Buchanan again throwing everything, including the kitchen sink at James Braswell. Buchanan goes upstairs, trying to, right, uh, trying to tap the concrete wall with the right rear quarter panel and does so successfully, not once but twice. He'll do the same into turn number one and two. Has he got enough time? I don't think so. Half a second down into three and four we go. Final time, check and flag is out. Robert Overstreet is going to the main event. Second will go to James Braswell Jr. Third will be Robbie Buchanan. Fourth is going to go to Matt Yorker. Jonathan Lee runs out your top five. Kevin Brow, sixth. Lake and Martin, seventh. Joe Garcia, eighth. Neville Ulf, ninth. Chase Dunow rounds out your top ten. Here is your results coming up on screen. So there's your top ten. So again, just to give you confirmation, Robert Overstreet and James Braswell Jr. will go through to the A main event. Well, I can confirm we do have a field of 24 drivers getting set to do battle around Lanier National Speedway for what is round number one of the World of Thunder Esports League season opener for season number 25. Again, we'll take a quick break here on Ultimate Dirt TV. We do have a track reset, a, a complete track reset. So it is 0%. These drivers will have between three to five minutes to run this track back in. Well, once we come back, it will be your 60 lap A main event here from Lenny National Speedway.
And we are back here on Ultimate TV coverage of the World of Thunder Esports League Super Late Model Round Number One for Season Number Twenty Five. Good evening, race fans. Brett Wheeler with you for the call as we get set for your sixty lap A main event coming up right now. Let's take a look at your feature race lineup. On the pole position will be Zach Jenkins in the sixty-two car. Jordan Casey in the forty-two lines up at a position number two. Position number three with the five car of Nathan Waddell from four, the 23 of Chase Barbara. Now, we're going to call it like this just to continue on with the grid just so it doesn't mess anything up. But Colton Herbert will, in fact, go to the back of the bus. Peyton Burton lines up at a position number six. Matt Selby starts alongside Talon Willis in row number four. Row five going to be Ethan Johnson and Colton Zimmer. Row six, we'll see Adam Holbert and Cade Nelson. Row number seven will be Jared Jones and Matthew Catania. Row number eight is going to be Ryan Goffmanis, Goffmanis and Hayden Tolleson. Michael Blessing will start alongside Richie Yost in row number nine. Luke Bishop alongside Cody Nevin. Robert Overstreet alongside Josiah Johnson and Justin Powell. And James Braswell Jr. will bring up the field for this 60-lap A main event. Don't forget, Colton Herbert gets sent to the tail end of the field. We are ready to go racing now. I believe that Standard World of Thunder League rules apply. I think we are going to go four wide. So, yes, they have extended the laps. So, I'm going to do believe that we are. Going to go into a four wide so Yes, they are. They've been given the signal to show you the most awesome sight in all of motorsports. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment you've been waiting for. It's the Super Late Model Season Opener for Season Number 25, presented by the Water Thunder Esports League. Seven years ago, the Water Thunder Esports League formed, and with nearly 2,000 active iRacing users and members, get comfortable because it's fixing to get exciting. With the ground pounding, super late models for 60 laps. As they salute to you, the race fans, they are four wide here at Lanier National Speedway. Let's get your picks in, folks. Who you think is going to victory lane? Will it be Zach Jenkins? He's been the man to beat so far tonight. Going from quick time to a dominant heat race number one victory. Really put on a show. Go back to uh, even in the practice. I mean, practice, he was nearly half a second off the pace. But when it all mattered, when it was all said and done, he goes quick time and picks up a heat race victory from the pole position by 1.995 seconds. And nearly just right uh, just under that two second mark against Matt Selby and Jared Jones. Of course, you go back to that opening heat race of the night with Jones and Selby. They were side by side. But as we go side by side right now, we will come to two to green. And once they come past the start finish line, we will go one to green here at Lanier National Speedway. Round number one, ladies and gentlemen. As they do get the one to green signal right now. Zach Jenkins in the house of speed car. Jordan Casey in the in the free speed 42. The Majora C speed jump number five of Nathan Wintel. And then you've got that Alpha Industries number 23 car of Chase Barber, Matt Selby, and Peyton Burton. Here we go, 60 laps on the board. Green flag is out, the season opener for the World of Thunder Esports League. Super late models are underway. And after four minutes of warm up with a fresh reset of a racetrack, who and where's the racetrack going to be? I'll tell you where it's going to be. It's going to be around the near National Speedway. But lap number one belongs to Zach Jenkins. Not without the challenges from Jordan Casey. Now Nathan Waddell down to the inside. We are yellow. Cade Nelson in. Just a slight bit of contact. Catania moved up. So 
So Catania, Matthew Catania moved up the raceway and contact with Cade Nelson. And unfortunately, he got the, the flag stand. And we've seen it earlier on in the Fixed Pro Late Model Series. Thank you, Anthony. Thank you for sharing the stream. So again, we'll wait for the lights to go out on the pace car and we'll get ready to go racing. So lights are out. Go, right, go back racing right now off turn number four. And Zach Jenkins, look at Jordan Casey right down to the inside. Jordan Casey, I'm very surprised to see Zach Jenkins go upstairs three wide between Barbara. Who's through the middle? Jenkins on the outside. Nathan Waddell on the inside. And Jordan Casey is going to leave one. He's lap number three. Jenkins getting shuffled back now to what is probably positions four, even five with Peyton Burton. Coming after the 62 car, but the battle is on right now between Jordan and Casey. Sorry, not Jordan Casey, Chase Barbara and Nathan Waddell. Casey does still happen to leave. We are four laps into a 60 lap main event. Johnson, Ethan Johnson in the 11 car has got Talon Willis on his inside and he's got Matt Selby on the outside. They were three wide and three and four. Peyton Burton to the inside of Zach Jenkins, your pole sitter in car 62. So top three, Jordan Casey, Chase Barber, and Nathan Waddell. And look at the three different lines you've got. You've got, a, you've got somewhat of a slider line, mid-track for Barber, and then Nathan Waddell working to the inside. Jenkins starting to work it up right, three quarters of the way up around the racetrack. Ethan Johnson trying to get to the inside of Peyton Burton to move into a top five position right now. The 20 car of Adam Hallward rips the lip around Lanier. He gets to the outside of the 75 car. Of oh, Goffmanus. Oh, and he goes around. And right on cue, we have a yellow. speed at all so just looking at the miles per hour here right now Colton Zippy got into the back of the 75 car maybe he did well Colton Zimmer was given an ear well for that one Again, back to back to green here in a moment's time. We'll wait for the safety car lines to see whether they turn off. That indeed they do turn off. So Jordan Casey in the 42 car, the free speed did when our T entry leads from Chase Barbara. So we have the lights back on the iRacing.com safety car. Now they're out. And the pole setter, the lead car, make it very clear whether he wants the inside or the outside line on the restart. Jordan Casey opting to go to the inside. Nine down, 51 to go. Season opener for the World of Thunder Esports League Super Late Models. 
And Casey once again leads the way. Down into three and four we go. Barbara trying to go right through the middle. Here comes Zach Jenkins with a run on the outside of Nathan Waddell. As they go side by side for the final spot on the podium. Waddell on the inside. Jenkins back to the outside. He goes in the 62 car. Following the line that your race leader is running is Zach Jenkins. Finds his way to position number three. Waddell trying to move back to the podium position but slips back out of that when we are yellow. Robert Overstreet in car 46. Yeah, 46 just checked up and got into the concrete wall. So Robert Overstreet, the winner of the Fix Pro Late Model main event. Yeah, almost two and a half hours ago. So again, the lead car will choose the inside line. We are one to green. This time Waddell's got the advantage on the outside of the raceway. So Colton Zimmer out of the event. Still 23 cars on the raceway. 48 laps left to run for the 42 car of Jordan Casey. But I tell you what, the 23 right now of Chase Barbara. He is hounding the back of the 42 car as they work it down into three and four. Again, they run a couple of distinct lines through three and four. Nathan Waddell, meanwhile, moves back into position number three. Relegates Zach Jenkins back to position number four. So a little bit of payback from the two previous restarts where Jenkins had the run on the outside. And, well, that outside line prevailing there for that number five car of Nathan Waddell. Although now goes back to the inside and Jenkins, he'll work it back around the outside. This is once again, you've had off for third, fourth and fifth position. Very closely followed in suit with Peyton Burton in count of a 14. Ethan Johnson, Talon Willis also bowing it out for what is sixth and seventh position. It's going to be Zach Jenkins moving to position number three. With Dell back to the inside right there on Zach Jenkins. But you're watching right now the 10 car of Talon Willis. Ethan Johnson in the 11 car. Look to the right of the screen. Matt Selby and Hayden Tolson side by side. So a lot of side by side racing here at Lenny National Speedway for round number one of the, of the World of Thunder Esports League season opener. And Jordan Casey opens it up to six tenths of a second lead. Almost seven tenths right now over Chase Barbara. Willis in that 10M machine all over the back of the 14 car of Peyton Burton trying to move into position number five. Selby goes right through the middle right now. Drifts it up just under where the marbles are. And here comes the 20 car of Adam Holwood. For some reason I thought we're going yellow, but no, we're staying green. Three wide, Herbert to the inside of Yost. And Herbert is through the guts right now through three and four. Yost down to the inside, had to check up to not get into the side of Hayden Tolleson in the 327 car. Colton Herbert in the 24 car, he's moving through the field. I mean, he's stung with an end of line penalty before we even took the green flag. Yost nearly turned the car around and good job by the 29 car. Here comes Selby now. And just like that, we are one third of this race completed. Selby and Tolleson. Selby again trying to shut the door. Herbert with not one but two sliders in the one turn as he put the move on Adam Holman and Richie Yost. Justin Powell. Justin Powell runs second in that second or third B main. Pretty sure it was the second B main in that 30 car. So Justin Powell moving through the field. We are yellow now.
Okay. It's the 11 car of Cody Nevin again. So we're going back to green. So we're coming out of the pits. And we'll see what Chase Barber can do. Jordan Casey chose the outside line. So 24 in, 36 to go. So six away from half race distance. Barber and Casey. Casey's got it once again down into turn number three and four. Waddell through the middle. Jenkins on the inside. This battle for the lead is on right now. Once again down into turn number one and two. Waddell, Willis, Talon Willis in the 10M just to the right now. Right in the middle of your screen up to position number four. Jenkins comes back at him. Three wide for third, fourth and fifth position. Waddell's got it from Talon Willis. Then you go back to Zach Jenkins. Followed there by Hayden Tolson in the 327 car. Peyton Burton, Nathan Johnson, Adam Holwood, Justin Powell. That runs out your top 10. Herbert to the inside of Powell down into three and four. And three laps away from half race distance right now for your race leader of Jordan Casey. In car number 42 from Chase Barber for Alpha Industries in the 23 car. Tolson you see on screen. Looking to move by Talon Willis, Zach Jenkins, Ethan Johnson. Right up beating the concrete wall into turn number one and two as Baton Burton one more time. Sends it down to the inside into turn number three and four. We will go yellow. So looking at a replay here, it was contact in front of the 71 car of Josiah Johnson. They all kept it going, but then he just threw the bomb and unfortunately, so to me, that one is going to be a racing deal. should be uh, lining back up to where iRacing tells him to. The right one to green. Go back racing here at Lydia National Speedway. Well, Jordan Casey again opting for that in uh, that outside the line. Chase Barber, what can he do with the inside line on the restart? As we complete what is lap number 29, so this time. We are officially halfway home. It's going to be 30 down and 30 to go. Chase Barbara is going to lead that lap. And he done it by six one thousandths of a second. Barbara and Casey again side by side. This is what we wanted to see, but we probably want to see it in the last 10 laps, not at the halfway point of the race. How will the track play out? Talon Willis by Nathan Waddell, but Waddell fights back on the inside. We are yellow. Going to be put on the
And we get put on the 44 car of Luke Bishop. So both Cade Nelson and Luke Bishop both get uh, an EOL. We both get charged with that caution. And back to green we go here in a few moments time or in fact I believe we're gonna go right now so lights are out and Jordan Casey one more time Casey from Barbara they send it off, turn number four. Barbara looking back down to the inside. Jordan Casey has still got it with 27 to go as the lap start to tick down. You've got to wonder who's been able to hold on to the tyres, who's been able to save their equipment. Barbara this time going to change his line in three and four. Talon Willis now finds his way to a podium position. Look at Ethan Johnson to the inside right there of Hayden Tomlinson and move Ethan Johnson to position number five. Johnson again working to the inside of Nathan Waddell into one and two. They run Tolson in the 327 car right there. Having a good look as well and watching this car, watching these two cars battle it out for position number four and five. And Johnson and Waddell. Not a whole lot of time separated fourth and fifth in the start finish line, but Waddell seems to have this five car now slowly but surely. Starting to get things figured out here at Lindy National Speedway. The Plumwell Podcast, number five car. Johnson again, fastest car on the racetrack. Last lap time by was your race leader of Jordan Casey. Herbert Herbert had a chance to back out of it. Justin Powell moving up the racetrack. Josiah Johnson also involved in that one. So Jesus, a few casualties in this one at the moment. They go one to green. And back racing here at Lenny National Speedway. We go yellow immediately. Oh, the 29 of the yeah, Irish 29 of Richie Yost gets into the back of Justin Powell. Yost will be sent to the tail end of the field. So let me just do this because I didn't do this last time.
All right, there we go. That's got a camera angle that I can see everything now, rather than trying to find the racetrack or trying to find the incident. So single file restart, 21 to go. One to green, lights are out. Season opener for season number 25 of the World of Thunder Esports League Super Late Models. And we're back to green off turn number four. Jordan Case in the free speed due and RT. 42 cut leads from Chase Barber. Talon Willis in second and third position. Nathan Waddell in fourth. Ethan Johnson rounds out to top five. Although Hayden Tolson looking to move by to move into position number five. But second, third, fourth, and fifth right now. They all migrate back to the bottom side. So two thirds of the race is complete. Jordan Casey, a race lead. They're going to say Jordan Casey. He's not uh, one to shy away from running the top side. Even running that slider line. Everybody just using the, the knowledge. Of running linear national speedway and so many times we've seen it go to the low side exactly where chase barbara and talon willis are running right now although we are yellow that is michael blessing in the 01 car now luke bishop just gets into the back of him that should be an easy call for race control to make so Luke Bishop should be charged with the ear well for that one. So don't forget, come Wednesday night, the Aces Up Sim Sports 360 Wing Sprint Car Series. Steve McMill will have that call. I'm headed out for a few days. Uh, I won't be back until next Sunday night, probably. If not, I will be back the following Tuesday night with the World of Thunder Esports League Micro Sprint Series. No, it's Wing to Micro Sprints. Yes, the lights do go out. In fact, if you want to watch some late model racing, play per view, I believe we'll have some late model racing come Saturday night, Saturday morning, American time. I'll be on the microphone for some late model at Lismore Speedway. And 18 to run for Jordan Casey. Chase Barbara now having a look on the inside of your race leader. The pair may have made slight contact towards the end of the back straightaway and on the entry into turn number three and Jordan Casey is still going to lead this feature event. Now Talon Willis having a good look on the inside of Chase Barber. Barber up to position number two once again. Now looking for the race lead up on the inside. Jordan Casey, Chase Barber, Jordan Casey still holds on. And we're going to say things could get interesting here in these last 15 and a half laps. Between Jordan Casey, Chase Barber, Talon Willis, Nathan Waddell, and even Hayden Tolson. Hell, throw in Ethan Johnson in sixth position right now. G. Casey and Barber, they're really cutting it close on the act on the entry into turns one and three. Barber just again using the advantage and the knowledge of knowing how to get around the near national speedway knowing where the line and the faster line is going to be but jordan casey somewhat upstaging that one saying that's okay you can go down there i'm going to try what's working for me i'll drive a little deeper on the entry and on the exits but with that being said he's probably using up his tires a whole lot more than what chase barber is so could that be a factor in late in tonight's main event it will come to 12 laps left to run there is a B main distance away for Jordan Casey, Chase Barber, Talon Willis, maybe potentially one of these three drivers and going and visiting Victory Lane here at Linear National Speedway. Again, you see Casey just behind the timing and scoring tower. Just a whole big deep slider line in three and four and does the same in one and two. And really showing, well, you know what, maybe the bottom side is maybe not the place to be. He was. Well, he's definitely the quickest car on the racetrack. Tolson is close as well. 14.497 was Jordan Casey. 
The next closest was a 14.569. That was Nathan Waddell back in fourth position. Problems for Talon Willis late in this race. Now with single digit laps remaining. Nine laps left to run. There's your top five on screen. Almost top six there with Ethan Johnson. Problems again for the 10 car of Talon Willis. Eight to run. Barbara again, he's got to be careful because Willis, well, he's got those mechanical issues and Nathan Waddell is right there. Now Waddell goes to the inside of Willis down into three and four. This battle is on once again for third, fourth position right now. Now throw in second of Chase Barbara. Willis one more time. Gee, he's having a real crack on the inside right there of Chase Barbara. Waddell now got Hayden Tolson down to the inside to the Paramajula C Speed Shop cars. Battle it out for positions number four and five. They make contact and Ethan Johnson says, okay boys, thank you very much. I'll take one position. I'll almost take two. Nearly three wide as they work through the center of turn number one and two. Willis still trying to get by Chase Barbara, but four laps left to run. Jordan Casey, a race leader, four laps at the start finish line. Chase Barber now trying something different. Here goes Willis once again to the inside. Another lap ticks away and another lap closer for Jordan Casey to visit victory lane. Will he get there? Time will tell. He's only got three circuits to run here at Linear National Speedway. For World of Thunder Esports League competition for the Super Late Models. Tip of the green, twin sticks in the air. Two laps left to run for Jordan Casey. Barbara again, he's closing in. Casey gets away from him down the back straight away. They'll come to the white flag. One lap left to run. Who will take out round number one of season number 25 of the World of Thunder Esports League Super Late Model Competition. Back straight away for the final time. 60 laps is complete. And it's going to be Jordan Casey off turn number four. Jordan Casey puts the free speed for him to the victory lane. Second will go to Chase Barbara. Hayden Tolson home in third And of course, we'll chat to your top three here in just a few moments. Time we'll get to run down your full field of lineup. And 24 cars and 60 laps is complete. Let's take a look at your feature race results. Jordan Casey goes to victory lane. Second will go to Chase Barbara. Talon Willis in third. Hayden Tolson fourth. Ethan Johnson rounds out your top five. Nathan Waddell home in sixth. Ryan Goffman is in seventh. Zach Jenkins in eighth. Matt Selby in ninth. Matthew Catania to round out your top ten. 11th through to 20th. Richie Yost in 11th. Jared Jones in 12th. Adam Holbert in 13th. Michael Blessing 14th. Robert Overstreet in 15th. Luke Bishop in 16th, James Braswell Jr. 17th, Peyton Burton 18th in the last car on the lead lap, Justin Powell in 19th, Colton Herbert in 20th, 21st goes to Josiah Johnson, Cade Nelson in 22nd, 23rd was Cody Devon and Colton Zimmer in position number 24. Well, let's go trackside and chat with your top three here tonight from Lanier National Speedway. We'll speak with Jordan Casey, Chase Barber and Talon Willis. Should they ever decide to get into it? Well, let's chat to uh, Talon Willis, home in third place tonight. It's the 10 car. Talon, congratulations on a third place finish here tonight. I'm going to say it was, uh, that was one you really had to work for to get by Nathan Waddell late in that race. Yeah, uh, it was definitely very tricky. Uh, I kept getting a pretty good start. I just never could complete the pass. And uh, I, we finally got to battle on side by side, and I just was able to kind of. We went on a little green flag run, and I got my momentum up, and uh, just was able to sneak around him, and uh, then luckily, right after that, it kind of went single file a little bit there until the last five laps, and I was able to just kind of stay right where I was. i got to say, late in that race, you started to see some mechanical issues. not sure if you were able to, to see it from your end, but made it a little difficult for the cars in and around you, but nonetheless, uh, you managed to stay off Chase Barber because you are almost inside that race car at one stage off turn two. Yeah, I, see, I could tell. I seen. I started blinking out and stuff, and I just tried to hold my line. And uh, luckily, I didn't take nobody out. I figured my internet would drop out, but uh, luckily, it didn't. So, and I'm just glad nobody got uh, wrecked for my internet. 
Talon, well done on third place here tonight at Lenny National Speedway. Before we let you go, we'll let you thank everyone involved on this number 10 car. Yeah, uh, I got to thank uh, Majula C Speed Shop, uh, Louis Victory Apparel, uh, CFME Sports, uh, let's see here, AK Race Cars, just everybody that's on the car, uh, Evan Blake, all of them, they've been at it pretty hard and uh, making everybody better so i haven't been on in a little probably about a week or two but uh feels good to come right back on and be uh fast so uh thanks to them and that's about it tell them well done on third place we'll hopefully look forward to seeing you back next week for round number two yes sir tell them willis home in third place tonight here at linear national speedway home in second place tonight is the 23 car of chase barber and chase congratulations on the second place finish yet tonight, but I've got to say, you, you come so close, but yet so far in the end. Yeah, uh, I don't know. We were just, tires were killed at the end there. I'm, I don't really care for this new update. I mean, it just feels like you're on ice skates. I, I mean, the track's like kind of racy, but you know, you can't really, like, you don't really have grip anywhere to pass them. But I mean, you know, it's not a bad run. I'm not too mad at it. I just wish the track was a little wider. So maybe you could throw a slider and get a race going or something. Because, I mean, I was right there the whole time, but you just can't really do anything. We've seen previous races just get locked down on the bottom side, even with the track reset. I think with about 30 to go, right around the half race distance, you know, top and bottom side will work. And were you surprised to see Jordan still be, um, able to make that slider line work all throughout the probably the last 10 to 15, even 20 laps of that feature event? Yeah, well, I mean, I... I saw him running it early, and I followed him for a couple laps. I knew I was good on it, but I didn't want to burn my stuff up. So, and I knew there'd be a lot of yellows, so I just stayed around the middle bottom and tried to save a little bit more. And maybe we had a little bit more tire at the end. I don't really know, but you know, I was just trying to save a little bit rather than burn my stuff up. But it didn't matter in the end. I mean, I still felt just as burn up. So, you know, know that next time to just go. Chase, congratulations on the runner-up finish here tonight, season 25, season opener here from Lenny National Speedway for the Water Thunder Esports League Super Late Model Series. Chase, before we let you go, one more time, mate, we'll let you thank everyone involved on this 23 car. See, uh, I'd like to thank uh, CSR Racing, uh, Gage Stevens Designs, Alpha Industries, Sullins Transport, uh, uh, you know, just everybody that helps me out. Jordan Casey, too, uh, you know, he's helped me with his free speed deal a little here, you know, with some different qualifying setups and you know, some other setups for officials and stuff whenever I decide to run them. So, you know, big thanks to all those guys and, you know, show back up next week, see what we can do. Here we go, guys. Chase Barber home in second place and getting the win tonight in the 42 car for D1 RT and the free speed. It is Jordan Casey. Jordan, congratulations on this victory. And while this 42 car had a whole lot of speed right from the get-go, when you come away victorious, you must be happy with that one. Uh, yeah, that was actually pretty fun. That's the most fun I had out Lanier in a while. Uh, I didn't know what to do on the restarts. That, that was the biggest thing. And you got Barbara outside of you or inside of you. And, like, he can time it perfect, especially at Lanier where it's a smaller track. You only have a certain window to start the race there. So, uh, I thought he was going to get me on one of those restarts. Tried leaving him enough room when he did get the jump on me, but, uh, obviously wasn't going to give it to him. Uh, it might have been faster at the end, but. I didn't want to steal his line really either, what he was running, so I just kind of was going to live with what I had up top and then uh, ended up working out. When was the decision made to, to continue running that slider line? Because the, you know, lately and in, in previous races we've done here at Lanier, and as I said as I said to Chase just before, it just seemed to get locked down on the bottom side, even even with the track reset. So when was the, when was the point in, in, the, in the race where you thought that you were just going to commit to this slider line? Uh... I just I never really committed I was ready to move down at any point but I just felt good up there I felt comfortable uh, as long as I could hit it it got pretty thin it there at the end but there is still so much drive off the corner if you hit it right that it didn't really ever go away but I think you guys should like uh maybe think about resetting the track like this almost every week because everybody practices on a dry slick track but these tacky ones like they're racy they change and Everybody can run something a little different on setup and it races pretty well, I think. Well, something to, something to discuss uh, after the event. But, Jordan, congratulations uh, on this main event victory here of the World of Thunder Esports League Super Late Model Season 25 season opener. Before we let you go, mate, we'll let you thank everyone involved on this 42 car. Uh, Yeah, everybody at D1RT. Uh, I mean, not too many of us get on anymore, but uh, I've been trying to get on a lot more here since I started uh, Free Speed. Uh, kind of 
making some new deals in there. Uh, join the Discord. Uh, go stop by like Twitch stream now. I'm gonna start doing that a little bit, and uh, that's Exciter42 on Twitch. Otherwise, Free Speed on Facebook too. Yeah, all them guys. Everybody that's logged laps with me. Uh, Ethan Johnson was in that race. Uh, Barb was. I don't know if he was on a free speed setup or not, but I think he might have been on his own stuff, but he was pretty quick too. So thanks to all them guys. Well, and you guys for broadcast and everybody else, Steve, for putting on the series. Jordan, congratulations on the victory. Stick around. I've got to talk to you after this one. So uh, congratulations on the roommate. We'll see you back next week. Alrighty, Thanks, boss. There we go, Jordan Casey, your winner here tonight from Lanier National Speedway, which will, of course, wrap us up here tonight from Lanier. And again, Big congratulations to Jordan Casey, who gets the win from Chase Barber in second, and Talon Willis in third position. Biggest mover through the field. Having a look at this one, not that we're going to interview him now, is Hayden Tolleson, plus 12 position from 16th to posi uh, position number four. So congratulations to Hayden Tolleson on picking up tonight's tired charger. But for now, that'll do it for us here on Ultimate Dirt 3. We will be back uh, Wednesday night with Steve McMillan and the Aces up Simsport. But next week, round number two, back live here on Ultimate Dirt 3 and on the World of Thunder Esports League. But until then, on behalf of the team here at Ultimate Third TV and the manager behind the scenes, I'm Brett Wheeler signing off saying goodnight.